Hello, bonjour. Welcome back to the kitchen. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today, but I was cooking supper, and it's something really quick, really simple, really easy, and super delicious. So I thought I would uh, come on here and show you how to make it for the days that you're in a rush. Um, I'm making Russian chicken. Um, it's very simple, as I stated earlier. You're just going to need some chicken, some Russian salad dressing, some onion soup mix, and some apricot jam. Um, to start, I have four clean chicken breasts. I clean, I wash my chicken breasts. There's a big debate whether or not to wash them or not. I, I've washed them forever, so <laughs> I'm not going to stop. What we need to do is cut our chicken breasts into uh, just into bite-sized pieces. Mine are still a little tiny bit frozen, but not too bad. And uh, you want to cut them, you know, not too big, but not too small. Like enough that you're gonna have like a nice, I guess, tiny bit of chicken in there. Uh, as I'm cutting, I'm just gonna check the stuff in here for a minute. Um, I like two. Cut off that little gross bits. <laughs> that little, there's a little stringy bit in here. I can't see it in this one, but uh, if I catch it in the other one, I'll show you how to take that out. And uh, the first time I had Russian chicken, I was living in Yumen, and a friend of mine, Gina, she's still my friend. Um, she still lives in New York, actually. She's from Nova Scotia. Um, she, I don't know. We were having a get together, or she was just coming over for supper. I can't remember. Um, and she bought Russian chicken. Well, I thought it was one of the most delicious things I had ever tasted. And uh, when she told me how easy it was to make, I just started making it all the time. And uh, you know, it's great for buffets. as well too I would imagine. Uh, not that you'd have any left over to freeze because seriously it's super delicious. And uh, yeah if you were wondering what to uh, <sighs> I got a little piece of it. <laughs> Serve with that. I would have got the whole thing only for it still a little frozen. Um, we're just having some plain basmati rice. You can have rice, you can have potato, uh, whatever you want really. You can eat it by itself if you want. Kids love it, adults love it. Like, I, I haven't met a soul that didn't like it. Um, yeah, my mother in law was, stepmother in law, I guess, <laughs> was looking for Russian dressing. She couldn't find any anywhere. And uh, that's what she was making it, using it for. And I was like, oh, I haven't made that in a very long time. So, uh, yeah, but thanks, Charlie. I'm <laughs> making a video now. Yeah. As you can see, I'm just about done. Super simple. I have four chicken breasts. You can use six. You can use eight, depending on how many people you're feeding. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and use more. You may need a little tiny bit more of the sauce that goes on here, but you may not. We'll see. I'm just going to wash my hands because I don't want to die of salmonella. <laughs> Hold on. I got a little bowl. Oh, I'm blinded with the sun that finally decided to, uh, that finally decided to shine today. It was out a little earlier and then it got cloudy and yeah, back out again now, as you can see. Now, step two, take a bowl. We're going to take a package of onion soup mix. I'm just using great value. Um, you can use, I don't know, I think more or something mix, onion soup mix. Whatever bread you can get works. We're only, we're only going to use just the one envelope. Um, thank God it's paper because I didn't bring scissors. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I am just going to empty that entire contents into my bowl. And I also am going to add about half the jar or bottle of this Russian because this is a 475 ml, and the recipe really only needs the small one, or like about a cup or so. This one's still got the lid on inside. Hold on. 
chicken in this house. It's way too much chicken, if there's such thing. Good thing Newfoundland has Newfoundland farm products. Um, yeah, so, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just kind of pour that right over the top, making sure you get it all out of the bowl. Now, if you want, you can just keep that like a little mix around, just making sure that you got a little bit of um, of the sauce coating all of the chicken. You can see the gorgeous color already. It's quite amazing um, for something that's so simple. Like, highly recommend you try this recipe of all recipes. <laughs> well, next to the cattle gratin, that's a really good recipe as well. Um, yeah, so, ta-da. Just like that, we got supper prepared. I'm gonna take that now, and I'm gonna put it in my oven downstairs. I got the wood stove going. Um, yeah, so about 350 for an hour. Take it out and enjoy it. And like I said, you can serve it with rice, you can serve it with potatoes, whatever you like really, or eat it on its own. Okay, I hope you're having the most beautiful day again, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Bye.